Okay, I'm with the black and yellow garage again. Uh, what I have here is a 1997 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, this vehicle is my neighbor, two houses down, brought this to me. Said he had it in three other shops. Still did not resolve the problem. The problem was the uh, throttle position sensor reporting high voltage, throwing the check engine light. At all three other shops, they all went and replaced the computer. Uh, unnecessary. Did not solve his problem. Uh, problem was with the throttle position sensor. Voltage high. Uh, did a little research. I spent about an hour and a half in my driveway uh, because uh, the previous shops, I don't know, somehow or another, the uh, threads that hold the throttle position sensor on were, uh, uh, they were stripped out. So I did a little JB weld and retapped and put the screws in correctly to hold that on tight. So after that, I determined that uh, everything looked good on the throttle position sensor wiring, everything getting what it should. The vehicle did not uh, display any symptoms of the high voltage uh, when the uh, vehicle was cranked running until uh, it started moving. So I uh, brought it to the shop, a little further diagnostics, was able to get in and uh, do a little research on Identifix. One of the technicians that reported back was saying that uh, he replaced the clock spring. I found that a little difficult to uh, understand what the clock spring had to do with it, but uh, the cruise control reports back the uh, speed and somehow or another the voltage is uh, shared. That information is shared on a common uh, wire to the computer or uh, circuit, let's say. Uh, so what I determined is once the wheel was turned, this uh, reading on the throttle position sensor. See, I'm just turning the wheel and you saw it bounce just there, right here. Okay. So just turning the wheel uh, caused that uh, voltage jump. Let's see if I can do that again. And uh, I'm going to put a new clock spring in, and hopefully this, oop, there it goes again. You can see it. Just turning the wheel did that. So sometimes uh, uh, this fella at one shop was uh, $500. One shop, $200. So uh, I'm just going to let him have a break. Uh, let him just pay for the parts and get him back on the road. So I know this is an older vehicle. Probably not a common problem these days, but uh, if anybody ever has a uh, high voltage, this is some place to go and look uh, for this uh, resolution to this problem. All right, good luck. Bye-bye.